And that, my friends, is one gigantic hammer. You could almost call it the Warhammer. Wait, I think that's a different MMO. What is up, guys? It's your favorite YouTube commentator, Ghost Robo. And today's question is, do you want to be a hero? And you all know the answer. Absolutely not! Heck no, we do not want to be a hero. We're the villain. We're Ghost Robo, the super fiend. And it looks like we're going to have to fight this first Brainiac Sentry once again. But that's okay, it gives us a chance to show you off the combat in case you forgot DC Universe Combat. Uses square and triangle for your attacks. It has a lock on button already. Or something already much better than World of Warcraft. We've got these nice pods with what I presume to be trapped superheroes on them. And whoa! We can run up all of the walls. That's pretty awesome. Alright, we're climbing way up. Whoa, and we fall down. Smashing rocks. More guys. Okay. So as we fight this off, um, I hope that today we're able to get to the ice power because it was a very. Cold and icy day here in my home state of Indiana, and actually I was out shoveling, which is never, never a fun thing. Um, and the snow was clearly mixed with like honey or some other sticky substance because it was just sticking to the shovel. And I would try to, you know, get it off and, and shake it off, and nothing was working, nothing was happening. It was just twice as heavy as normal because there was always a small residue, or a, a large residue rather, of icky, sticky snow. So let's go to the open door as opposed to running into blank walls. Defeat all guards, three out of five. So apparently there's two more hiding from us. So let's go and, and find them. It keeps bringing up this L1 to target. Okay, boom. There we are. And I like these dual wielding weapons. I also like, this, this is something that's just, just super already. I can tell I'm going to love it if I continue with this game. Um, look at the meter, my hit meter as I, as I deal damage. It's got a, a subtle, a subtle yet noticeable um, uh-oh. Whoa, look at that guy. Let's make sure we finish our thought here. A subtle yet noticeable comic book aesthetic, and it's right there at an angle in the bottom corner of the screen. Something super sweet. Um, a, a real good interface is going to be key for this MMO to succeed, and so far, we're looking pretty good. That meter at the bottom there, that R2-L2 little thing, got me nervous, guys. When I hold up these buttons, it brings up square, triangle, circle, X. I'm guessing that's where our powers are going to go, and I'm hoping that that controls better than it looks, but let's take on Giant Bugman, Big Brain, Brainiac Overseer, ah! charge in for the big damage. I guess he's going to pop up with a, uh, a little meter over his head when he's about to do his attack. And we can hold R1 to block. Oh, and we can apparently roll away from his attack by holding the control stick with R1 already. Guys, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm pretty pumped right now uh, because God of War, it is not, but it is something kind of unique. Feet achieved. Use the breakout ability ones. Again, those those little those little uh, interface things, pretty cool, pretty dang cool here. As we smash and bash, Mr. Overseer, let's roll out of the way. Roll, 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 roll. Ah, what's that about? Pose. Okay, and go. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, you know, again, the thing that turns me off from MMOs is the combat and and the whole slowness of the operation. Go in and do your attack and wait for your next one to queue up and just sort of the, the boringness of the world. I don't really feel obligated to read the text uh, or, or read any of the, the, the dialogue or any of that, but DC I may be more interested in. You know, if Batman's talking to me, I'm gonna say, hey, I'm gonna listen to you. Or in my case, Joker is giving me commands. I'm gonna say, Joker, you have my attention because Lord Vondenthal, the the Greater, or whatever the heck the trolls' names are in in you know World of Warcraft, just doesn't do it for me. We hold left trigger, L2 and R2. We can suck in all the orbs around us, which is nice. And we've got a little uh, log book on the bottom left corner. That thing was no overseer. They are no joke. Let's get you out of the halls. Transport tubes crisscross the entire ship. Look for one right above you. Okay. So press L3, click on the stick to enter movement mode. Uh oh, look at that. Boom, boom. And you'll notice the way we're going to be able to tell we're in movement mode, I can already pick this out in the top left corner. See that little spike that extends out of my meter? Boom, boom. Movement mode? Not movement mode. Movement mode? Not movement mode. Movement mode. Okay. So, here's our super speed. Oh, yes. Look at this. Boom, 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 boom. Very nice. Let's run up this wall. Let's see if it happens. <gasps> yes. All right. <laughs> all right. And we level up. Let's check out the power trees here. The leveling up trees. We've got storms. Cryogenics and Iconic Power as well. I'm going to go with Storms. And yes, we are going to get some Ice Abilities! 
engulfs an enemy and others nearby, dragging them towards you. Inflicts frostbite to make enemies vulnerable to freezing. Very cool. Okay, let's go back and just see what cryogenic says if we can buy this. Plummets your body temperature, increasing your resistance. Nah, we don't want defensive power. We'll save that for later. And iconic powers requires level 10. Okay, so we're not going to be able to get those for a little bit later, but let's go with this guy. Inescapable Storm. Boom. And that opens up these nice talent trees here, which are going to lead us down different paths. They kind of remind me of Borderlands. We played that game for any of the three PS3, 360, or PC. Um, just a very similar aesthetic, and the, even the whole menu system reminds me of Borderlands. But that's a good thing. You know, look at the icons on the bottom of the screen. Borderlands, right? They just say... Hey guys, we stole these from Borderlands! And they probably did. Alright, so we've got a little power there in the bottom corner. Let's get out of our mode. Our movement mode. L2 and square, what's gonna happen? Alright, ice beam! Very nice. Movement mode back in. Oh, this is this is beautiful. Simple switching between the modes. We're zooming all over, running up the walls. Let's go in circles. Ah! Are we getting dizzy? Yes, we are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's keep going. Okay, we've got some... Different things we're collecting. Inventory screen, let's see. Alright, so the menu at the bottom here is being controlled with L2 and R2, and you can see it doesn't instantly switch, which is kind of a slow loading queue issue. Um, but I can transition through them quite fast, so I'm guessing this is like messages. Yep, okay, so inventory is probably going to be here at the end. What's this one? Okay, that's costume. Alright, so yes, we can change things. If we want, you know, one day to take off, uh oh, take off our hat, we could probably do that for you. Reveal our hair for a special episode, but we'll save that for a later date. Let's check out inventory. What do we got here? We've got cash, $30 at the bottom. Servitor reassembly device, sell it for cash, okay. Laminated gauntlets, equipping this item, blah, blah, blah. Health restore and plated stadiosynthium shirt. We're not gonna use any of those right now, but we are gonna gather this money. Come here, money, there we go. And now let's run through these tubes. I don't know where we're going. The calculator hopefully is leading us down the right path. For you. We're not out yet. We're not out yet. Look at all those overseers down there. I mean, I mean, this is some some decent game stuff, right? It's not. Oh look, ride the horsey, World of Warcraft. It's we got some 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 big stuff going down. But the thing I'm confused about is I'm a villain, so why is Brainiac hating on me? Why isn't he saying, "Embrace the darkness and join my team"? I don't know. Let's go look in here. Nothing. Okay, so let's put some movement mode on. I really like this switching, guys. You're really gonna like it. Security's coming your way. All right, so more security is coming your way. The calculator speaks softly and it warns us about coming dangers. So we've got some cover bots here, and these Brainiac sentries. It looked like they were kind of throwing stuff out. Let's test out our ice beam on them. Yes. Oh boy. Involved in an icy wind for the kill. Very easy. I guess they can blow up and hurt us. We got something else attacking us. There we go. Okay. Ice beam. Boom! It's actually more of an ice wind, I guess, than an ice beam itself, but it looks pretty cool. And if that's the first, you know, if that's the first power-up, what are we going to do when we get way cooler ones? The blue meter below my health um, is controlling that mana or that magic. And I like that this is a big area of effect spell that can really target a lot of guys. Um, you know, again, superhero games are tough to do, but if they can wrap in some exciting leveling up and some great combat... I may have to set aside some uh, some $15 bills once a month for this game. I don't know. It's very early to tell. A couple of you in the comments were asking some questions, so I thought I'd address them here uh, in case you didn't see my response. I try to respond to every comment, but I will address them in the video as well. Someone said, do you still have to pay if you are a PlayStation Plus subscriber? And you absolutely do. It's a poor decision. Um, I think that would have been a great incentive, right? Say, hey, subscribe to PSN. You don't have to pay. I, I would have probably done that, right? I would have probably signed up to PlayStation Network Plus just to get DC Online free, but, you know, no, no dice on that one. Um, another question I saw was, are you constantly running around with other guys, or are there, there safe zones, or how does that all work? And I don't really know yet. I'm hoping we find out pretty soon, um, but I can't give you a direct answer on that. I like how this brings them towards us so that we can just finish them all off with our great moves. Um, let's see, what if we what if we trigger uh, running around right now? We're going kind of slow. I don't know why we're moving so slow. Run! Run, woman. Why aren't you going? Okay, movement. Go! I feel like I'm in some slowdown or something. Like, I've been I've been hit with slowdown spell because we sure weren't moving very fast there. The last question, or rather comment that I saw of interest, um, was... Ghost Robo, you forgot Batman Arkham Asylum! And I absolutely did. That's a great game. One of my favorites of last year. There we go. Some speed's back. But Arkham Asylum, yes, thank you for reminding me. 
I love that game a ton. Uh, between Uncharted 2, Arkham Asylum, and uh, Assassin's Creed 2, those were probably my three favorite games of last year. All had cinematic flair, all had pretty great combat, and all had stories um, that were very engaging. Let's jump down. Geronimo! Cannonball! Whatever you say is you're falling thousands of feet! Uh-oh. Oh, uh, police car. Well, we're gonna have to try to pick that up, because what does a superhero do besides carry heavy things around? We're in the trash station, I guess. Let's look at this whack. Look at this whack uh, vending machine here. If we hold the circle, we can pick it up. Oh, yes. And now, what happens if we press square? Smash! And let's try... Okay, it exploded. Let's pick up the police car and try the circle button out. Can we pick up the police car? Or is it too heavy for us? Too heavy. Well, let's destroy it and see what happens. Oh, that's going to take a while. Forget it. We don't need to do that. Let's keep moving. Speed on! Why, why is my speed slow? Okay, I guess we have to have a little bit of a pickup. You gotta gain your speed there. And now, hold circle near the object to interact. Okay. So there's some simple stuff obviously going on here. Some simple MMO-based stuff. You know, it's not like we need a puzzle to solve or anything. But, but, so far, the, the skeleton of the game is pretty solid. I know a couple of you are like, No, don't tell me this game is good. I don't want to pay for something else. Um, but... You know, preliminary, right? Preliminary, definitely. But you, you may, you may be needing to because um, I'm, I'm very surprised. I'm very surprised how far, how far they went with you know the whole, uh, the whole combat thing and really trying to make it different than something like World of Warcraft. Let's see how this targeting works. If we throw this barrel, boom, and you are gone. Oh yes, exploding barrels, good combat, ice powers, Joker, Batman. You know, I, I made comments last episode that I don't really like the DC stable, but I do like the DC mainstays, like Batman and Joker. I guess it's really just those two guys, and I'm not too much of a fan of the others whatsoever. Uh, thank you also for those of you who let me know that that was Lex Luthor, who was wearing that green robotic suit. I had no idea. I thought he was just a normal dude. I didn't know he was going to be wearing some giant insanity and trying to kill everybody. Uh, but I guess that's what super villains do, so we better get used to it. We better learn... How to do that? Alright, there's one last guy over there. Two. These guys are a little bit bigger. The Brainiac Subjugators. Um, and I like the look of the game. You know, I was worried about some of the, the jagginess in the character career. I was, you were, could tell, like, at, at first it was like, ugh, you know, is this gonna look okay? But in World, what they've really done a great job of is not, not you know, succumbing to, to full 3D and, and going a little bit cell shaded But it's just, like, ever so slight. You, like, you're not gonna feel like you're playing cartoon game du jour um, that came out really funny let me say it again cartoon game du jour <laughs> um, it looks really good there's a lot of colors and my purple my pink and blue matches well with Brainiac's ship here we are now level three so let's open the skill tree and spend some more points this time we earn a skill point not a power point so I guess I don't really know the difference and or why we're earning one or over the other maybe it's just gonna alternate skill power skill power so apparently this is going to let us do things with our weapons. Oh my, we've got trees for the weapons? Very cool. I wasn't expecting this. So we've got block breaker, an interrupt attack, uh, supercharge, maximum, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Or a finishing attack. Tap X square ten times. That's a lot of taps. I don't even know if I can count that high. So we're going to go with the hold square because I figure that'll probably give us the most useful, like a power attack. Oh yes, and we jump in. For the deadly dual blade smasher. Um, Alright, let's run through. Follow the little yellow X. Nice little mini map on the top left corner. And this ship Wonderful. is pretty cool looking. My readings show a full scale invasion force aboard. We have to destroy this ship. It's a big force. Why? No, I, no, no. Explain this to me. Maybe maybe this is something in DC lore. Brainiac just isn't on pace with the other villains, on page with the other villains. Um, but why why do I want to why do I want to destroy this? Why why do I why do I want to destroy his ship? Why would I want to do that? I'm stunned. Uh-oh. Stunned! Get out! Move! What, what's going on? What are you doing? Oh. Press R1 to break out of crowd control. Okay, and there we go. Smash! I like that little special attack. But why do we want to destroy Brainiac's ship here? What is this thing? I don't know what it is, but what I do know is that we're going to have to wrap this video up. And guys, <laughs> color me impressed. I'm really liking it so far. And if you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, give me a good rating, subscribe for episode 3, and until next time, we will see you later.